For many years, when people drove past historic Millard, they saw a vast openness, a reminder of years gone by. One local developer saw a chance to modernize and build. Tonight, my special report, the changing face of Millard. Saws spinning, bobcats buzzing, hammers pounding. This 15-acre plot of land between Q Street and Millard Avenue near 132nd has turned into Construction City. It's going up quick. Progress that they've made is absolutely bewildering. For many years, this stretch was the barren, ghost town-like former site of Millard Lumber after it moved to I Street in 2008. We looked at the old Millard Lumber warehouse there for years, and that was quite an eyesore. But that all changed when Lanahaw Development bought the property in 2014. Demolition late that year led to construction in 2015. Now as this year winds to a close, this corridor is coming into focus. What's all this in here? All this is multifamily, so dense, urban, multifamily product. Four stories, elevator, parking underneath the buildings. On a sunny fall day, developer Jason Lanahaw took me on a walking tour. Six apartment buildings are going up. 600 people will call them home starting next year. We wanted to provide services for them. Here, they come over and get coffee, come over and get good food. So on the north end, the lower level will have three places to eat and drink, including Dunkin' Donuts, Eat Fit Go, and local. Business offices on the second floor that will be staffed in early 2017. And we're trying to create a product that uh, is usually known for more of a downtown environment. Sure. That we have a little further out west, it's, it's a unique opportunity. On the south end, Omaha police officers are already using a new precinct to respond to crime calls. I mean, they wanted us in this area, and so this was a, it was a nice fit for us. It's a good space. I don't see how it could be a bad thing. I think it's a good thing for Millard. A big change from the days when Millard was a small town built close to the railroad tracks for commerce. These historic photos are actually from the 1900s, taken during the World War I era. The grid was built off of the, the railway, right? Perpendicular to that, which ran through the middle of this property. So this was kind of ground zero for Millard at the time. The cobblestone road seen in this picture has withstood the test of time. Now refurbished, it will stay, reminding some of Millard's character. And there's more. With the influx of roughly 800 people here on a daily basis because of this new development, Many of the small shops that have been here for decades are counting on a jump in business. With the developed trails that we have now out in this area, um, we've been selling quality bicycles with quality service for a long time, and those two uh, are going to make for um, a great pastime out here. Do you think this changes the face of Millard in some senses? Yeah, but I think for the better. And many people who live along this stretch agree. I think it's going to change everything, especially at lunchtime. You know, so on the weekends, um, just a nicer area now. And the wood that construction crews are using for all the building going on there, you guessed it, purchased from Millard Lumber.